last Anzac Day, uh, Peace Action Wellington put up three um, effigies of conscious objectors undergoing number one field punishment on the Western Front in the First World War. We in this museum, because we like to take a questioning approach, we like to create a bit of debate, we like to take the alternative stance, we thought the story of these conscious objectors, they were brave in their, they was brave in their own way, sticking up for what they believed was right as the people who, as the men who actually went and fought to the front. We thought it was an important story, so when we saw this, we asked Peter Action Wellington, could we have one of the effigies? They said yes, so we went and liberated it. Well, we've got, we've got a tall screen in the museum which stretches up through three floors of the building, a really unusual format. Um, we wanted to make some contribution towards the World War I commemorations, which was also funding available, so and in line with our stance of looking at the backstories behind things, or the unusual angle on things, we decided that the work that they had done in the format they had made it was ideal for us. Well, the artwork at the museum, it grew out of, uh, you've got to go back uh, quite some years and picture me back at Tokoro High School, short trousers, you know, pulling Baxter's book out of the high school library shelf and reading We Will Not Cease. I paint often what I call wet on wet, so you go really fast. Yeah. Um, so this, and I know the, the good paintings are the ones that go fast. You go slap, 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 the big brush. <coughs> friend Ahmad who was an animator and he said yeah. why don't we animate your poles? <coughs> you know, so yeah. animate a pole? Okay. <laughs> and it was great, I mean it was great. So I ended up jumping in on Bob's project by making a soundscape to yes. go along with his um, with, uh, with the number one field punishment paintings. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. The painting is obviously the main focus and I didn't want the soundscape to um, get in the way of that. So if you listen to it, it, it's in that range, but it just sounds tonally quite unusual. Sort of thing, if you're playing a bugle, you might come up with notes like this. We designed it specifically for that tall screen, didn't we, Andy? You Actually... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was, it was happy coincidence that... So what do, you, what do you think of the film? The film is rather unusual for the museum in that it's really quiet and contemplative. And so most of the time we are shouting for people's attention. Here is a different sort of experience um, where you actually have to slow down, pause and think for a while. So as part of the museum mixture, I, I think it's a valuable addition. <laughs>